Hi, boys and girls, welcome back to Mrs. Cardenas' classroom. Well, today we're gonna go ahead and do math and we're gonna do problem solving. So we're gonna go over again our three reads. So what do we do when we have a word problem and we're gonna solve it? Okay, these are the steps that we're going to be using. And also just remember that we're still doing money. So this is our money chart. We have a penny, we have a nickel, we have a dime a quarter half dollar and dollar but remember right now we're just focusing on four coins and the four coins that we're focusing are penny nickel dime and quarter we should know those four coins already and you should be practicing at home remember i asked you to ask your parents to count their change maybe around their house so make sure that we're counting coins that we know how to count coins okay because our problems word problems are going to be about money and coins. So let's go over our three reads. The first time we read a word problem, we're going to go ahead and we're going to focus on what is it about? What's the problem about? Okay. That's when we read it the first time. The second time we're going to circle the numbers and we have to know what the numbers represent. Do they represent cookies? Do they represent cars? Do they represent um, coins? What do they represent? And then the third read, we make a plan. How are we going to solve it? Are we going to add? Are we going to subtract? Um, are we going to use pictures, drawings to solve our problem? And we also always underline the question. Always, always. And you should know that because every week on our homework packets, we underline the question on Monday. Okay? So let's go over our problem um, that we're going to be solving today. So Angel buys a book for 27 cents. And Drea buys one for 32 cents and Benjamin buys one for 41 cents what coins could they have used okay well first I want to know what is the problem about well I read it and I think it's about Angel and Andrea and Benjamin buying books okay that's what I think it's about the second time I'm going to read it I'm now going to circle the numbers and I have to know what the numbers represent so first I have 27 cents and I believe that represents a book the book that Angel wants to buy then I have 32 cents that represents the book that Andrea wants to buy and then I have 41 cents that represents the book that Benjamin wants to buy okay so now I did my second read I know what the numbers represent and I know it's a money so the numbers represent two things. They represent money and they represent books that Andrea, Angel, and Benjamin want to buy. Now my third read is I have to make a plan and I have to know, well, what am I gonna do to solve it? I'm gonna underline the question. So Angel buys a book for 27 cents, Andrea buys one for 32 cents, and Benjamin buys one for 41 cents. And the question is, what coins could they have used? So the question is asking what coins could they have used? It's not even asking like to add or subtract, no. It's asking what coins they can use. Okay, well this is what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna do something different. I'm gonna want you to write in a paper or in a journal, write Angel's name, write Andrea's name, and then write Benjamin's name. Okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and above each name, I'm gonna keep track because I need to remember, okay, he, Angel had 27 cents. Uh, he wants to buy a book that's 27 cents. Andrea wants to buy a book that's 32 cents. I need to keep these numbers in mind because I'm going to have to, I'm gonna write what coins they could have used, what coins they could have used, okay? So remember, today we're focusing on coins. That's why we need to know these four coins. Quarter, 25 cents, penny, one cent, nickel, five cents, dime, 10 cents. So angel, 27 cents. How can I represent 27 cents with coins? Let me think. What's the easiest way I could do it? I'm going to first find the easiest way. I'm going to use a quarter. 
and two pennies. 25, 26, 27. Do you guys agree that that makes 27 cents? It does, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do Andrea. So Andrea has 32 cents. Again, I'm gonna start with 25 cents. Then, let's see, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, I'm gonna use a, a, a nickel, five cents. That's 30. And then I'm gonna use two pennies. So 25, 30, one, two, 32 cents. Okay. Then Benjamin has 41 cents. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna start also with the quarter for Benjamin, 25. Let's see, can I start with nickels? Yes, but you know what I could do? 25 plus 10, 25, 35, 35. I can do 10 cents. Now I have 35, then I can add five cents for 40, and then one cents for 41. Okay, good. So now that I did angel, I'm gonna go back because what coins could they have used? Now, this isn't the only coins they could have used. So I, I'm gonna find three different ways for each person. Again, I'm gonna find, and you're gonna find, three different ways. I already found one. So I'm gonna show you a second way, and I want you to do the third way on your own, okay? So this is gonna be my second way. I'm gonna use two dimes, 10, 20, I'm gonna use a nickel, 25, I'm gonna use two pennies, 26, 27. So my second way was two dimes, one nickel, two pennies, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, does that check? Yes. These both check, but it's different coins. Now, with Andrea, is 32 cents. So I'm gonna use one, two, three dimes, 10, 20, 30. And this should be easy because we did our 10 cent quarter count. 30, one, 32. So this is two ways. I did three dimes and two pennies. I did a quarter, a nickel, and two pennies. Both make up 32 cents. Now, Benjamin, I'm gonna use dimes, 10, 20, 30, 41. So with Benjamin, I used four dimes and one penny, 41 cents. Okay, boys and girls, these all checked. Now, what you have to do is you have to come up, you have to use different coins that add up to these three different numbers. And you have to write it down in your journal, whether you're keeping a journal or you have math paper, just keep it together. I want you to write down one new way to make this 27 cents, 32 cents, 41 cents, okay? I showed you two different ways, two different ways with coins, and you have to come up with one way on your own. Okay, boys and girls, so again, how many ways do you need to come up with? How many? One. Okay, and I want you to write it in your math journal and then we can go ahead um, next time when I'll start a lesson of problem solving, I'll make sure I'll go over uh, one different strategy again for the coins, okay? So just to go ahead and review what we did today, we did the three reads with our word problem, problem solving, and we were also using money, coins, pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. So remember that we need to make sure, we need to know what are we doing. We're problem solving, we're understanding the problems. Okay, we're doing our three reads when we do the math problems and making sure that you're also writing things down in a journal or in just paper. Okay, boys and girls, and I hope that you enjoyed this problem-solving lesson, and I'll see you soon.